So love is a natural phenomena, like God is as transcendent as God is immanent. If you take God to be uh, the wholesome flow in all of existence that always uh, harmoniously tends to the needs of all living creatures at once, without any sort of a assertion of will, but more of a natural progression that follows from the original point. What is the original point? The original point is that there is a quantum field of balance, like an orb of potentials, uh, a supersymmetric whole where everything exists in a unified sphere of luminosity and uh, whatever. I mean, that, that is the original point. Then when you begin to define that, what could it be? Then it could be light or it could be darkness. It could be attachment, it could be aversion. It could be the sun and it could be the moon. It could be a male and it could be a female. It could be any one of these polar opposites, bipolar opposites, that we like to put together, munch it up, instead of creating all these false divides between red and blue and green and red and asses and elephants and democrats and republicans and communists and capitalists and uh, all these uh, party quarrels that are so trivial because they lack that sort of uh, syncretic and unifying love. Love. Love is not that kind of uh, bullshit thing that you throw on someone in hopes of getting something out of them. Not like that. Not like that at all. That is called wanking in my language. And it's called uh, whatever people like to call it in their own language, but that's essentially what it is. Similarly, like we have love and hate, we have uh, light and darkness. Now it's very popular to say, oh, light. Let there be light, like I'm God creating a world. Let there be like a whole lot of light. What, what, what for? Well, what do you need all that light for? Light just creates a lot more haze. Get some darkness for change. Go into the dark and face yourself. Because your deepest desires, your morbidity is resting in the dark. Go into the happy forest place at night, like we are. Here in the daytime, we've been here by night as well. Go there in the dark of the night and see what you find in the night rather than trying to escape your own nature. You are half light, you are half darkness. You are half awareness, uh, you are half mm, fabric. The, you have the physical immanent body, this fabric of matter right here that is intrinsically and integrally connected with the rest of the universe. This body, the way it is composed using a bilateral symmetric design of two halves crossing both ways and keeping the human whole as a bipedal mm, harmonic entity by physical design. It's no different from the above, the below that we have in here. And this is called a body of darkness or a body of earth. So what, you want to escape it? You want to negate it? Well, good job, you know, you just negated half of existence and said that it's bullshit. So, the, so much for your syncretic, uh, we are all one unification philosophy, that's just bullshit. That light, or they, some call it pneuma, or the spirit, or the dynamis, the dynamic uh, flow, and the patterns, conduits, and the patterns of awareness that flow throughout all of existence as the so-called transcendent, uh, the undefined flow. Uh, that is the light side, that is the quote-unquote uh, love, luminous side of the positive expression, and then love if you take it as an opposite of hate. I don't, but in this context we did. Either way. So this body uh, is a creature of darkness, of matter, for you and for me, for the entire human race. And uh, the awareness that permeates and that fuses this body is a creature of light. That is the seer 
and this is the scene. Which are you? If you're an extremist, you will tell me that you are light to darkness. You will tell me that you are a male or female. You will tell me that you love or hate more. And you love someone you hate, hate some, and you like to be a woman or a man or whatever. Then you're just as crazy an extremist as the other guy who blew up a building, essentially, at the end of the day, when all these patterns come to equate at the end of your days. You're just as fucked up as the other guy who went overboard with his religion. We got the same basic, basal pattern in the works. So why, why not try to find some sort of a transparent median between the extremes? You got your two brain halves in here, the left one and the right one. And the left one and the right one and the left one and the right one. You need to mix them up. You stand on your head or go upside down like this. Rotate your perspectives all around. If you don't see life from all angles, you will never see anything in life at all. Turn it all around, all over. Look at all the angles of the compass. Look above, look below, look within, look without, and see what happens. See what happens. See if your frame of reference will expand to accommodate both sides of yourself, not just uh, a bipolar dichotomy like you have in the world of politics nowadays. Is, that, is your spirituality like the politics of the USA? It's about the same if you go rooting for one party or another. Oh, I am into uh, angels and I am into demons and whatever. I mean, why don't you make friends with all of them and try to see, see if they can fit together? I mean, what's your problem? Why do you always want to create artificial quarrels between all things just because you're rooting for one side? Why the fuck you root for one side? Why not root for the fucking median? Ha! I'm getting angry here. These are becoming really pissy lectures here, but people are so thick. I mean, if you're going like the, this way, or if you're going this way, I mean, how do you ride a bicycle like that? Life is like riding a bicycle, right? You have to, if you ride forward, you have to keep the median. You have to stay between the extremes and not go here and there. And now we're going to the extremes of trying to make a point here. That's because uh, people are going to the other extreme of not registering any kind of a point voluntarily, so I have to do a bit of boxing here. Please don't mind, there is no ill intention ever. I'm just uh, trying to convey some things that I picked up from down the road from many masters and from many teachers of nature and on many mountains and on many crazy roads. I think this stuff is important for everyone to internalize, and it's not my stuff, it's just the stuff of life that everyone has to see if they come to a point where they just uh, pause their bullshit and take an objective, honest look at life with a sense of integrity. What am I, what am I really doing here? What's, what's the point? Am I gonna be playing here, left and righters, for the rest of my existence, or am I gradually going to pause at the median? That's the question for today, and we'll conclude today's rant over here. This was a bit of a mouthful, please don't mind. I'll try to make it more orderly in the next installment. These are still trial transmissions to get the wavelengths tuned right. Thank you for participating in this experiment of awareness. Peace out. These are the mystic hand signs that few people will ever understand. Because they, I'm, I'm just making them up, that's fine. Ah, chit chit. See you later.